Number 71. Given the following reactions and the corresponding rate laws, in which of the reactions might the elementary reaction and the overall reaction be the same? Okay. And then they give us a balanced equation, right? 2NOs plus O2 yields 2NO2. And then they give us a corresponding rate law. Now, the question here is asking if the elementary reaction, which we're going to state is this reaction. They only gave us one reaction that's going to be an elementary reaction. Can this elementary reaction be equal to the overall reaction? And if the one single equation that they give us is equal to the overall thing, that means that the rate law, which is abiding by the overall reaction, so a rate law is always going to give you information about everything that's going on overall. And in this case, if they're just giving you one equation, right, I'm just going to say that this is the elementary reaction. And then I'm just going to make it a, a little bit even more simpler. I'm going to say this is the overall reaction rate law. Now, if your overall reaction rate law, right, the information for the overall reaction is only one single step, which is the elementary, right? And maybe I'll write that down here. I'll say that if we're talking about an elementary reaction, sometimes I call it an elementary step because an elementary reaction is one single step. And if you're saying that the elementary reaction is going to equal the overall reaction, that means that that one single step is the only step in the process. Sometimes in an overall reaction, you have a mechanism of maybe two steps, three steps, four steps, five steps, right? And then once you crunch all those steps together, you output a single overall reaction. What's the, the, the most important thing that happened between those five steps or the three steps? But if you're saying that, you know, we just have one single step, that overall reaction has got to be coming from the one single step. And just know that we can always find out rate laws from elementary reactions because they follow the same rules as the general rate law with a catch. And here's the catch. This is the rate law right here. And I'll put maybe a little here saying that if you are, you know, saying that a reaction, in this case, this guy is an elementary reaction, that means that the rate equals K times the reactants, that doesn't change. But the only thing is that now we can raise it to the coefficients. Usually, if it's an overall reaction, it's going to be raised to the orders. And we can't take those coefficients because we don't know how many steps there are. But in this case, in this case, if we're saying that the elementary is the overall, I know that this rate law has to go with that equation. And it has to go so perfectly that it has to be raised to the coefficient. So let's see. Rate equals K, so that's nothing new. Let's see if they got the uh, reactants right. We have NO, NO, so that's one reactant. We got O2, O2, so all reactants were included. Keep in mind, nobody cares about the products. And now, if it's only a one-stepper, that rate law has to abide by those coefficients. We have a 2 for NO, and look, NO is raised to the second. That checks out. You have one O2 in my equation, and O2 is raised to the first. <gasps> so everything checks out. Those exponents are the coefficients. If that is the case, that means that this is the only step of the process. It exactly mimics the rate law, and we can say that, yes, the elementary reaction is the same as the overall. So we can say, yes. It is the same. And that is the final answer. So it is the same because the one reaction they gave us is identical to the rate law. And that's it. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. I love talking to you guys. Thank you so much for, you know, all your support. You guys are you're crushing it out there. Um, good luck on those tests and quizzes. Always keep learning. And I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.